world, meet a lot of brownies, illustrious peanut butter roll. The infamous, famous, butt buster peanut butter rolls. A family recipe going back 100 years. And they have peanut butter swirled in the roll, peanut butter frosting, chocolate ganache, and more peanut butter on top. Oh my goodness, they're just so delicious. There's a cinnamon layer in the middle that is just fabulous, and it's just enough peanut butter. We like to bake them pretty soft so they stay nice and soft and gooey. After a little bit of training, <laughs> my rump and I can both tell you that a whole one goes down really easy. These bad boys, they have earned their spot at our bakery. Which is no easy feat at the Destination Guide's best bakery in Omaha. I just like it because it is home cooked and I know who's making it too. That would be Michelle Kaiser who opened this bakery in Fremont, Nebraska three years ago. This is the key to a lot of brownies. A name she and her husband came up with. And he said, well, what are you going to do? And I said, well, I'm going to make a lot of different brownies. What if we do a lot of brownies? And I'm like, well, I'm already going to be doing a lot of brownies. And he's like, no, what if we name your business a lot of brownies? So they did, at first, selling nothing but two inch by four inch fudge brownies. Most people cannot eat an entire brownie without either a cup of coffee, a glass of milk, or a glass of red wine. It's extra chocolate. As time went on, Michelle started to fall back on the training she received from her grandmothers and gradually expanded her menu. It's buttercream frosting and um, it is my grandma's recipe also. It is the other key element to getting the perfect white wedding cake. It's hard to nail down one of my favorites because uh, Michelle is constantly making new products that are just so delicious. This is something that we just kind of made up one day. It's two brownies sandwiched together with white chocolate mousse made from cream de coca liqueur. Um, and then they're enrobed in ganache and toasted chopped pistachios with a Grand Marnier fresh whipped cream. And it's a Belgian chocolate cup with um, white chocolate mousse inside it. They are a coffee liqueur infused brownie with chocolate ganache on top and they are amazing. Great with a glass of red wine. Have you had them with the red wine no, yet? No, but I'm going to. One skill she developed on her own was bread making. When it's sliced, it is absolutely beautiful, makes a fantastic Reuben. I'm just a scone lover and you don't find them everywhere. They're just so moist and they have fruit in them and they're just lovely. These are Norwegian school bread. They are a cardamom yeast dough that's sweetened and then they're dipped in a a sweet glaze and then dipped in coconut and then they're filled with a Bavarian filling and they are really good. It's all really good here, including the atmosphere. Put on some Elvis and I'll sing all day long. She's even serving lunches. The chicken salad I love. They come with some fruit and even though they come with a little half a brownie, I don't figure that's too bad. Is booked two years in advance on wedding cakes? and has her son, Christian, working alongside her. Always positive, always smiling, so it is just worth the trip. Work your butt off and hope for something good in the end. 